on for quite a while. I tried doing the map update, and that seemed to fix it for a little bit. But here in the last month or so, we're kind of back on this whole Blue Link restarting gig. Don't know what to do, don't know how to fix it. Anybody thoughts on this? We'll kind of get towards the very end, give it a little bit, and it'll uh, bounce back up and just kind of keep rebooting and rebooting and rebooting. Thought I'd make a video of it, make life a little easier so somebody understands what we're talking about. Yep. It's rebooting, reloading, and it does this nice little cycle. Right now, if you hit the buttons, like uh, heat and cool, those buttons will work just fine. The radio up and down, your memory presets work fine, the volume works fine, but you kind of have to just kind of keep hitting the same buttons, and eventually you figure it out with the presets. And the uh, heat and cool buttons, you really don't know what it's trying to output or heat or AC the, uh, the car with. But I just kind of keep going up and down until the uh, fans sort of settle down. Right now, I believe it's on about 70, 72. A good mild medium in the middle. But when winter kicks in, you really don't know how hotter or colder it's going to be. Uh, my plan is just to leave it as is, and hopefully that's going to be a good warm uh, mid-temperature like it is right now. So I feel a little bit of AC coming out right now, so I know it's not set too cold. But it's kind of one of those guessing games of back and forth. I reset the uh, SD card a couple of times. And this is a newer car that's in here right now. Uh, there's no way to actually manually force an update on the uh, the whole system, but it keeps bouncing. And of course it is not um, in warranty anymore. This is a 15 model. Anybody have any thoughts on that one? What to do or where to go to reseat something or redo something so that way the system will actually come back up. If you let it go for about an hour, if you're taking a trip, it'll eventually show up. And then it feels like it uh, takes maybe about five to ten minutes for the GPS signal to update and sync up to put your put the dot correctly on the map, on the uh, the navigation map. But it's going to take a little bit longer than me running up and down uh, little trips to town and coming back. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are. It's on a uh, 2015 Honda Santa Fe.